Welcome to the first episode of our chilling five-part series, where we delve into the tragic tales of Jack the Ripper's victims. Tonight, we recount the life and last known movements of Mary Ann Nichols, whose fate on August 31, 1888, marked the beginning of a terrifying legacy. Mary Ann, often called Polly, was a daughter, a wife, and a mother. Her life took many turns, including workhouse stays and estrangement from her family. By August 1888, she found herself in Whitechapel, an area rife with poverty and peril. Let's rewind the clock to that fateful night. The evening prior, Polly was seen walking the grim streets of Whitechapel, searching for a place to sleep. At 1.20 a.m., she was turned away from a lodging house, short of the fourpence required for a bed. A mere hour later, at 2.30 a.m., her body was discovered on Bucks Row, a secluded spot now known as Durwood Street. The brutality inflicted upon her body was horrifying, and it became evident that London faced a menace unlike any before. The investigation into Polly's murder was swift. The coroner's report detailed severe throat cuts and abdominal mutilations, a level of savagery that startled both the public and the police. Mary Ann Nichols' funeral was held on September 6, attended by a sorrowful congregation. Yet, she was but the first of five, as the fiend who committed this deed was only beginning his infamy. As we conclude tonight's episode, the ghostly echoes of Polly's last steps remind us of the vulnerability and danger faced by many in Victorian London. Join us tomorrow as we continue to honor the lives overshadowed by the name, Jack the Ripper. If you're intrigued by these mysteries of the past, please like, share, and subscribe for more historical deep dives. And remember, beyond the infamy of a killer's name are the stories of those who should never be forgotten.